Damn, I be looking a little sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Your kid don't think that. Mm -hmm. Where is my chest? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, amigas. Hi, Angela. Hello, Yahida. I'm eating Taco Bell. I just got out of work and I'm hungry. And I miss you guys. And I was like, I never eat in front of the camera, so fuck it. Let's chat a little bit. Because I'm over here um, in the hood. Y así no me roban. Hi, Barbie Jude. So I got the nacho fries. They're my favorite. ¿Qué carro tienes? I have a Honda Accord. <laughs> Hola, suegrita. <laughs> ¿Quieres una papa? My mother-in-law's in here. Tell her hi. What time? Oh, what time is it? It's 7.30. Look, this is how you know you work hard. Estás llena de polvo a la verga. The red seats están bonitos. Thank you. It's funny because when I went to get my car, like three years ago, um, this car was actually a model car, like inside of the dealer. And when I saw it, I was like, I want it, bitch. And I was like, it, red's not my favorite color, but it looks really nice. It looks really nice. Wow, are you? It's 10 30, 7 30. Can't wait to succeed like you 31 years being a barber and now time to be an LT. Oh, barber. I wanted to be a barber before too, but nunca se me hizo. I'm here in California. Hey girl, quien quiere? Open your mouth. Did you do a new set or am I tripping? Um, yeah, um, I did these a couple days ago. I'm so sad porque I wanted to go have ramen. Hi, Oscar, el homie. <laughs> I wanted to go, um, eat ramen because somebody told me there was a new place over here in East LA that was open. It was closed, so my ass went to Taco Bell because my head hurts and I need to drive home. On my way to talk about for some nacho fries. Yes, girlfriend. They're bomb. I'm obsessed with the nacho fries. So, I'm practicing here so when I go have food with Mimi. Because everybody always be like, oh my God, it's too late. Just eat and eat your food. But I do eat my food. No, my skin, I can't do it like all sexy like her. I just eat normal. Where do you work at? I work in LA. I love Diablo sauce. So my favorite thing right now in Taco Bell is the BC five layer burrito. Bomb. Have you done any more packing videos live? Just wondering because I think I missed it. Um, yes, I did one on, mm, mm, I forgot what day it was, but it was of the week. Hi, Noelani Chavez. How are you? Love watching both you and Mimi. She's coming on Tuesday, so I have to start practicing how to eat. Thanks. <laughs> mm. I never like people staring at me when I eat. So that's why I'd be a little awkward, but... 
you packed orders today for that? I was at the salon today. My husband is the one who who um, was working on the orders. Hello, your nails look fire. Thank you. Which ones are your favorite? The orange ones? I can't even close my hand properly porque esta cosota. Or this one. I'm the same way when I eat. Before, I, I used to eat like con más cuidado than now. Like now, I don't need like messy or nothing i don't think so but i used to be like like that but now i could take a whole bite um this is the five layer burrito it has like the cheese the beef i think it has beans nunca falla i always get dirty when i eat always oh my god A uh, what? Nacho pizza? No, I haven't. Do your hands hurt with having that long nails? No. It hurts without the nails. Fuck, this salsa is spicy today. Where are you eating? Out in the parking lot. Así se come mejor, ¿verdad I am in East LA right now. I just finished working. Fuck, I'm in Chile. Normally, this salsa is not spicy for me, but always I'm in Chile. I work in East LA. Y va a venir aquí to Atlantic Square to try the new ramen place, but it's closed. Has never even been open. I was fooled. So right now I'm eating um a five layer burrito in the parking lot. That's why I'm like, let me go live por si un loco se me aparece. They see me talking and they don't even bother me. Mm. You should do Jenny 69's nails. I'm down, but I don't even know she gets nails anymore. I really don't like to do simple nails. Like, actually, let me rephrase that before my followers be like, I mean, my clients be like, bitch, I thought you told me you like doing, doing simple. I do like to, but not that many. Mm. Estoy comiendo Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Para cantarle, yo soy la 69. Something, something que salió de Riverside. Okay, what? Esa loco, ese loco va a creer que tú eres la loca. Cause <laughs> for real, they'll be like, eso está bien loca. Está comiendo y hablando sola la pendeja. But it's because last time, this is kind of like a, like a tradition. When I come to work, I come to Taco Bell most of the time. Um... But normally I come out later. So one day I kind of got scared because I was eating in my car with my windows up and I was like by myself in a corner. And they were walking towards me. And out of the whole parking lot right here, it's fucking huge. They're walking towards me and I'm like, there's no exit by where I was at. So I was kind of scared. I'm like, oh my God, my wife morir. Mm. Yeah, I have tried with Ria Gonzalez actually before COVID. <laughs> Del taco or taco bell? Taco bell, honey. My favorite part of this shit is the quesito. Mm. No pasó nada, nomás. It was like a homeless person, but I couldn't see because I was my little blind. Like right now, without my glasses, I could barely see the fucking writing here. 
¿Quién quiere? Muérdale. Fire. Thank you for the little fire. Jade Rosie. How was work? It was good. Easy. Pretty easy. Chill day. Um, after a lot of people asking me what's my favorite thing to eat, I'm going to say pasta is my favorite. Because, I don't know, you can never go wrong with pasta. Whenever I go anywhere, that's what I order. So, pasta, definitely. Reminds me of when Mimi would go live eating Taco Bell. I know, I was just saying, I was like, they're going to be like, bitch, you're trying to be like mini or something. <laughs> but I never go live eating, but I feel lonely. I have nobody to talk to. I only do three clients a day. I don't do anything more because I drive far. So I can't really get that tired. Hmm. I don't do any more than three clients anymore. Because the drive to my house is like another client. And sometimes I don't know what my clients want, so I don't want to risk it. And like today, I could have had another client if I wanted to. Mm, um, what is it called? I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I could have taken another client if I wanted to. But sometimes my clients surprise me. Like, they're simple and then when they boom, they want something crazy. And I'm like, girl... Um, is it worth the drive? Mm, yeah, it is. Most of my clients book priority, so they pay extra. I don't really ask for deposits unless it's like a new client. Then I ask them for a good deposit because if they don't show up, I'm gonna be fucking mad. But my regulars, they most of them they pay priority. A priority fee which is kind of like a deposit um and it's because there was somebody coming i'm like they were passing by so it kind of works like a deposit and if they don't come then it's not refundable how do you protect your natural nails from thinning just don't rip off your nails Well, my starting prices for just something really short, one color, I start at 65. Look, guys, I have a fry with cheese. Are you in a safe area? I mean, I hope so. I'm in a main street, so I hope that's safe enough. I'm in the hood, girl. This is never safe. But, I mean, I grew up here, so nada me pasó. So, I'm just scooping out the little meat that's at the bottom with my fry. Hi, acrylics by Lisbeth. ¿Cómo estás? Can't wait to start at that price girl it's been taking me forever i feel like some people think it's expensive but that is really not compared to prices from back in the day mm -mm. but you know what as long as i make enough to be able to pay my rent and pay myself that's all that matters i'm not trying to like become rich or anything like that i need to still love my job because let me tell you when your prices become really expensive like just for a basic set nobody really wants to get shit no more and they become sad somebody's coming with a bike where are you going homie it becomes sad and then it's like it's not fun no more i'm eating taco bell and fries i love the nacho fries The cheese just tastes so fucking bomb today. It's like, si tienes jalapeñito. 
ni más pobre ni más rico digo yo sí, cierto uh -huh. hiking key put mild sauce and the cheese I don't have mild I only have Diablo sauce but let's try it let me lick my fingers I'm not really a finger licker but are your doors locked? yeah they are I just have my windows cracked Diablo sauce. Do you guys like the Diablo sauce? Shit. Stir it up, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Hello, I see. I wait. I see you on lovely Mimi's YouTube. Ah, hey, girl. You're a very awesome person. Thank you. Oh shit, se me va a caer el teléfono. People are starting to complain on nail prices and are not wanting to pay for work. Any advice? Mm. Well, my advice will be to just keep your price what it is. Let them complain because the people that know and love your work are going to continue to come. Those people who think you're too expensive are going to leave and it's totally fine. It's part of life, you know? It's like I always say, I have another burrito. I always say, how to call it, um, that customers need to understand that we're self-employed, you know? When we go to a job to get hired like a normal person, you go expecting a specific pay rate you know like for example if i were to go look for a job i'd be like mm, why need a job that pays 30 dollars and up nothing less right let's just say you go to an interview and you find out their chart they're paying you only like 15 bucks you're like the fuck i ain't gonna fucking work here fuck that shit you know because you know your value um you know your value and what you can bring to the table as an employee so same goes for a nail person a hairdresser or whatever is like why is the self-employed person going to want to lower their standard just because you don't want to pay it's like an employer telling you to your face like the fuck you want to get paid too much you're not worth it like you're never gonna hear that they're just gonna be like okay we'll call you or whatever you know so you will um you'll find the people who are gonna pay your price whatever you ask for and are going to appreciate it i'm gonna appreciate your work and your time hmm. you're on mute my son is sleeping are you still talking about the taco bell hmm mm. I was talking about nails, how people, how to call it, some people complain about nail prices, and people are always going to complain about things. Oh, yeah, this is the same kind of burrito. I only get these little burritos. Um, So, people are always going to complain no matter what. There's just people who are, like, nail addicts and can't live without nails, and they are the ones who will come and support you. And then sometimes they'll leave and try to go find somewhere else. But then they'll see the quality is different or the vibe is not the same. And then they'll keep coming back to you because you offer them something that that other person doesn't. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't work yesterday over here. Why do I work far? Um, because I bought a house in 2020 December 2020 and um, I haven't found anywhere to work at over there yet I mean I haven't really looked to be honest because everything is like hella expensive and I love my clients I have built a like a connection or I don't know like I've had my regulars already for such a long time that I can not just let them go like that I feel bad because I work really hard for them and I'm really comfortable where I work at. Huh. 
Hi, Lori. Yeah, I'm really comfortable, so. Por eso no me quedo allá. Ya se está metiendo el sol. Hi, they think they look good, but they look the worst. Hmm? What do you mean? Diana? The nails? Ya me voy a empezar a enchilar. I was getting ready to say that you are probably comfortable where you at. I am. I'm not going to lie. And you know what? That's the worst thing to ever be comfortable. You should never want to be comfortable. And you should never want to be in a comfortable place. I mean, I guess certain times it's good to be comfortable. But sometimes I wish that I could work closer to home. Because if I were to do this more often more a week i would hate my job i would already hate doing nails i low-key kind of already nice nah, getting um i do like the cheese man so that's my favorite like catching up with my clients like girl what's what what you been up to mm. no they can't come to me because i can't work out of my house i wish i could but i can't I, where I live, we have a HOA, and they do not allow that. Hmm. I'm so full already. Está bien bueno, pero ya me estoy llenando la verga. What's a good glitter from your stir for summer? Mmm, girl. Any of the the floral collection was well, not called floral collection, but like petunia is really pretty. Um, what are they called? Daffodil yellow is really nice. Um, I don't remember the pink one. What is called? Blue poppy is really pretty. Ya me lo termino. Yo me lo termino. Oh, okay, okay. I I lo la bolsa. Me tengo que terminar mis, mis fries, pero el burrito ya no puedo. Me... Oh, cherry blossom, ajá. Uh -huh. Cherry blossom. I think it's called peony. Do you have neon glow in the dark? Yes, I do. I have a whole collection. Excuse me. The orange here is actually glow. Excuse me. Yeah, a lot of our glitters are beautiful. I actually haven't used all the glitters that I have. Like the sprinkles collection is really pretty too. It's mixed with matte and iridescent. You have neon acrylic that doesn't glow? Mm, no. I don't think so. They all glow at the neons. Do you do sculpted sets? Um, I don't actually. I was just telling my client today that I sh I'm going to start practicing my sculpted sets more because since I started to do nails, like as a job, I learned to do sculpted nails. Learned. In school. But as you start doing them in a salon, nail tips are a lot faster. So that's why I've never really done sculpted. I've always done tips because I already take a long time. And if I do sculpted, I I used to think I'm going to take longer. So I never did it. <clears throat> and then just nail tips nowadays, they give you the sculpted look. So I was like, hmm. I don't need to do no sculpted nails. Like, I achieve the look with nail tips. But, I still want to try it more. It's, it is getting dark. No te da miedo? No. 
I'm not gonna lie, sí me da miedo porque no me da miedo porque están aquí conmigo, pero si no tuviera el teléfono ya estuviera like ya bien paniqueada. I wanted to go to the casino, but I was like, no, the lady don't go. Let me clean my glasses. Ooh, time for ghost stories. Hell no. Hell no. Como dice mi cousin, no puedo, Marta. No puedo. <laughs> One of my cousins from Mexico, she'd be like, no puedo, Marta. No puedo, Marta. No puedo. I'm from East LA, honey. From East LA. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I still get scared. I'm so full. Let the food kick in and so I could stop being sleepy. What part of Mexico are you from? Um, my parents son de Sinaloa. Si ganas en el casino, though, I never do. It's a up and down. Like, I had a good winning streak a couple months ago. Uh, that's why I quería refrigerador nuevo because I was winning every time I would go I would win six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. Excuse me, eight hundred dollars. The most that I've won, like not counting the money I used, was like twelve hundred dollars, and I was like, woo, woo. but then lately I haven't really been winning. They're just taking my money, so it's like I don't want to go no more. I don't. Yo no quiero ir. Yo no quiero ir, Marta, porque I'm losing, but, but then, cuando me divierto, ¿quién me lo quita? No one. I don't do nothing crazy. I don't really shop anymore. I don't fucking do nothing that normal people do. I'm boring as fuck. So, I guess the most excitement I get is gambling, a little bit, but I do have control. <clears throat> When are you planning on having ambassadors? Oh, Stacy, that's a very good question. Everybody asks me like every week. <laughs> and I keep procrastinating. I think I'm going to need my ambassador soon. Probably in June. I'll, I'll look for y'all. Like, starting June, para empezar del medio año. Do you make presents? Um... I only make them for fun. Gambo para comprar tus Gucci purse. I don't really like Gucci, actually. You guys want to know something funny? It was not funny, but like before, maybe like four years ago or something like that, my thing was to have, to be able to buy myself like a Louis Vuitton purse or expensive shit. I really wanted expensive things, but now I don't. Like, I do have, I don't really have a collection or nothing. I only have two purses. And, um, I don't even wear them. Like, they don't really make me feel like, and maybe because I don't dress up. I feel like I'm too chunty for the bag. <laughs> so, eso no me llama la atención. I don't know why. Something's wrong with me. Where are you from, girly? I'm from California. What do you look for when choosing an ambassador? So pretty much what I'm going to be looking for is somebody or a few, you know, like pretty much if this fits the description. You have to love my products, you know. Whenever anybody wants to be an ambassador for anything. Oh shit, my lights don't turn on. You need to love what you're promoting. You shouldn't just promote whatever, okay. So for me, it's really big that you already use my products of course i'm gonna ask like what's your favorite products from zule or whatever mostly everybody uses the glue but a lot of others have different products so i want to know what your favorite things are so in order for you to be able to promote me i haven't really wanted to have ambassadors only because it's not that I'm picky or anything like that. I just really want somebody to promote it and love it as much as I do. Because I don't want people to just want to be a part of it because you want to be part of something, you know? Because I've seen it a lot on Instagram where people feel like they need to be a part of a brand. Like, 
that's cool and everything but do you love it you know so that's gonna be um a big one so people normally who want to be an brand ambassador whatever never even use a Zule product so those are definitely not going to be considered because you need to love what you promote and I don't really care if you have a lot of followers or not as long as you have like your potential you know I fuck with my beginner nail techs all the time anybody who's been following me for a long time you guys know that I fuck with you guys I rather fuck with you guys than nail techs that have been in the game forever porque se creen la gran verga no, just kidding <laughs> I don't know. I I feel like I can relate with you guys more because of my struggles, you know. So yeah, you need you need receipts to be an ambassador, <laughs> girl. I just need your full name. That's it. That's why we love you. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Pues a ver, nos podemos. Ay, güey. Ya nos estamos quedando aquí dark poquito. Ya se metió el sol. Should I go get a coffee? Do you guys think I should buy a Starbucks? I have 80 miles to go. Como que me, me veo más bonita en el dark, huh? Pues aquí estoy, mija. Ok, monchis. I graduated a month ago or so. Congratulations. Yes, coffee. Yes, coffee. All the time, <clears throat> all the time that I, I'm going back home from working and I get myself a coffee, siempre me dan uno pinche go que parece agua o pinche leche a la verga. Mm -mm. Un café frío. Un caramelo maquiaro, ¿verdad? My head me está doliendo machín. Like, los burritos no han entrado al sistema todavía. Like, I feel sleepy. My head hurts. Ask for double shots. Like, eight shots? Six shots of espresso? Is that what you mean? Like, double shots? Because I know that Venti has... Um, has three shots, no? So today, I drank a little bit of coffee that I brought from my house and I drank a piña agua. That's not enough water? <laughs> That's not enough water? Three shots. You're probably dehydrated. I think I'm sleepy, like, because I'm tired. I woke up. I woke up at 7 today and I drove over here. There was a lot of traffic. I'm proud that you didn't let fame change you porque el dinero cambia la gente. Girl, ¿cuál fame? I'm not famous. <laughs> Pero la verdad que sí. Fame does change people, unfortunately. Yo por eso digo que Diosito no quiere que sea famous. Porque a lo mejor dice, no, esta, esta pincha pobre. No la podemos dejar que se le sube, que se le suba, que se le suba. Porque es muy buena gente. Solo vamos a tener pobrecita. Pobrecita. Ese señor, ¿dónde va? Hello, everyone. Hi. To me, your famous girl. Ah, uh, thank you. Actually, some people do make me feel super special. We're not going to call it famous or anything like that because most of the time, famous people got like a lot of money or a lot, a lot of followers. And my followers are like sleeping and shit in the Instagram pero you guys do make me feel hella special <clears throat> you famous to us girlfriend you guys make me feel really special for real happy mother's day thank you so I think tomorrow oh fuck I have to go to work tomorrow never mind I was gonna say que mañana me va a hacer las uñas otra vez Um, I have to work tomorrow. I have a really long nails to do tomorrow. Long, long nail. Like, long nails are cool and everything, but I, they're just a drag. También. Me duele todo. Más de pensar las uñonas que voy a hacer mañana. 
One of my clients, she gets like longer nails than me. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you, like our queen bee. Yes, honey. <laughs> Grabalos. I'll try to remember to to record the nails porque de en, en tanto chisme se me pasa. Go live on TikTok. That's a little dangerous because I don't really like to go live when I do my clients because that's normally the time when they want to vent. You know, they want to tell me their life problems or chisme or whatever. Y como que, are you the Taco Bell on the Atlantic in Washington? No, I'm over here in Monterey Park. Stop complaining. You want it long now, Suju? <laughs> I know, I just want to complain about everything because my head hurts and um, I'm sleepy. Ambassadors, you're going to have an application? Um, yes, something like that. It's going to be more like trivia questions. What's my favorite color? Do you, how many kids do I got? I just kidding. The cheese man, what happened in the nail shop stays in the nail shop. Actually, I do share some stories sometimes that my clients tell me, but I never, I never disclose names and I always kind of like switch it up a little bit. But none of my clients really know each other like that, so they won't guess who it is or whatever. All right, guys, pues ya me tengo que ir. Voy a estar bookies, entonces. Um, you can record it and then just do a voiceover or put music like other videos yeah if i do record it i am going to like maybe do a voiceover later um but then uh you're getting anxiety about my safety um i will try to record maybe both both of my long nails tomorrow um pero pues a ver si me acuerdo Remind me, guys. Remind me to record. Porque luego cuando empiezo, wait, 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 se me olvida todo. Drive safe. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to go show me some love on my Instagram. It's so fucking dry. My Instagram is so sad. Que me dan ganas de hasta borrar mi page. So sad. I'm like, Instagram, please. Fix me already. Fix me. Out of all my followers, only like point. 1% see my shit <sighs> Alright bye everyone See you guys possibly Oh no el domingo tampoco I'm sorry El lunes a la mejor apenas el lunes uh, I like your pics Thank you Shirley You can't see me When you look for me I know Instagram is still playing with me It's like what the hell but go search for me, please, and go like my stuff. Porque me voy a poner más deprimida de lo que ya estoy. Ya, ahora sí ya me tengo que ir porque ya se hizo noche. Ya se hizo noche and then I could barely see. Um, Scott, I mean, Stacy, I know. Some people can't find me. My client this morning couldn't find me. But that's why I be posting on my stories para que me encuentren ahí. Go find me, go find me. When I search, I don't find you. Only live and shop comes up. Yeah, I don't know why they be doing that. Like, yeah, de veras? Tengo que hacer una petition or something because they be playing with me. Like, some people think I'm lying, but I ain't. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. Type up my whole name, Zule's Nails. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'll see you guys on Instagram when I get home. Or when I get to Starbucks. Bye, beautiful people. Thank you for hanging out with me.